Yo, what's up, YouTubers? I'm Lily, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about breast development. So if you guys caught my video about your endocrine system and how your HRT affects it, you guys are going to want to learn a bit more about it, hopefully. And one of those things you kind of really want to know about is your breast development, mainly for you male to female transgender people. So as your estrogen starts to affect your body, you're going to start going through your secondary female developments, otherwise known as your second puberty. Part of that second puberty is your breast development. And it starts off basically with pain, growing pain, lots of growing pain. But that's okay because it's totally natural. One of the first things you're going to notice is that there's going to be slight pains around your chest area, mainly behind your pecs or your nipples. Ha, <laughs> nipples. But really, let's be serious about it. We could talk about nipples in a non funny way. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to notice is this kind of slight pain, and that's that is new tissue developing behind your nipple and it's going to create what's called a breast bud. This is going to create a kind of cone shape behind your nipple which makes your breasts kind of pointy. But it's okay, they're not going to stay that way. But that's how breast development starts. That's the first bundle of tissue to develop. After a while, that tissue is going to start widening out and filling into an actual cup size, giving you your breasts. This starts off around, I think, eight months, nine months into your HRT. Now, obviously for me, that's how it worked, but for different people, it works at different rates. Sometimes it can be really fast, sometimes it can be really slow. My camera died like halfway through this video. <laughs> so I had to charge it. Yeah, that was annoying. Sorry. Ooh. And in the meantime, I brushed my hair, tied it back, and then stretched my ear. So it's a good day so far. Back to breast development. So. One day you could just wake up and be like, whoa, there they are. Because it can happen just the way it is. It depends on how you develop. And then sometimes it's just really slow. It depends on the person. So when your breasts are developing, you're obviously going to have to start thinking about bras. Or the brassiere. <laughs> Whatever. A bra is important to help and aid your breast development by providing support and comfort for your newly developing breasts. Keeps them safe from being bumped or brushed off of or anything like that. It provides a cover for the amount of sensitivity that's going on around your chest at that time. And of course overall support as they get bigger they're going to be heavier. It's very important to know the right bra size that you need for your breast development. So a lot of the time people just start off with training bras or sports bras. Either one of those are pretty good, but you still need to know your sizes. The first thing you need to do to know your size is to measure around the circumference of your chest or your thorax. Measure that in inches and you will get your circumference size. For example, you could be a 30 to a 32, 34, 36. It depends on how big you are, basically. Now, considering you've just started breast development, your cup size is obviously going to be either non-existent or very, very small. You're going to want to get a training bra or sports bra that is an A cup size because that's basically the best one you probably need. Eventually you'll be able to move on to be wearing more regular bras or those pretty nice ones that people see on those modeling adverts of those really skinny bitches that don't actually have boobs so I don't know. Sidetracking! Sorry! <laughs> Once you've found a bra that's comfortable for you and that really supports your chest through its development, you're winning. Like a lot. From then on, it's just a matter of taking care of your chest as your breasts develop, being wary that they're there, and getting used to the idea that there's this very sensitive spot on your body now. I remember getting a question before from someone who asked, if I start developing breasts, does that mean my chest hair is going to completely disappear? And I'm going to be honest and say no. Breast development does not mean that your chest hair is going to go away. Because even cisgender women have chest hair, especially around the nipple area. 
and that's okay to have. But for the time that your breasts are developing, it's, it's a good idea to not remove that hair because you could end up getting an ingrown hair in the middle of your breast development and it's not good for you at all. And I'm not speaking from personal experience, I'm speaking from experience that other people have told me about. So don't worry about still having one or two little hairs on your chest. It's fine. Women have them all the time. So that's breast development, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. I'll get right back to you. You guys can get to me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. And until next time, all the love.